One of America's biggest disasters, slavery, resulted in tremendous misery and the death of many people. People frequently bring to the Stanford jail experiment when talking about the brutality that people in positions of authority exhibit. Slaves might be punished for a wide range of offenses, such as stealing, being lazy, evading capture, or even using their native tongue. According to certain stories, slaves were even punished for participating in sports. These are 10 most appalling punishments for slaves in America. 1. Whipping. In America, whipping was a common form of punishment for slaves, including youngsters and pregnant women. The flesh on the slave, Gordon, also known as Whipped Peter, was raised and covered in a lattice of scars on his back. Some owners, though, went further. These owners gave orders to split apart the wounds of their slaves as the wounds started to heal and to apply substances like red pepper and turpentine to the gashes. A brick was reportedly pulverized into dust and debris by one owner, who then combined it with grease and applied it to a slave's wounds. 2. Mutilation. Slaves were frequently expected to perform extremely taxing physical labor, particularly in the fields or on cotton plantations. Other slaves performed domestic labor and were expected to have a well-groomed and clean appearance. These slaves frequently have superior speaking skills or lighter skin. In either case, it would be reasonable to keep and safeguard the well-being of slaves. But it didn't often happen like that. Owners frequently demanded that slaves' bodies be cut apart, especially when they had engaged in physical altercation or shown resistance to their masters or overseers. Sometimes it required slashing the flesh or chopping off an ear, amputating limbs, gouging out eyes, severing hamstrings, or even castrating both sexes were more extreme examples. The victims frequently went without medical care. Some people died as a result of complications including infections and blood loss. 3. Branding. Searing the flesh with a heated metal object is referred to as branding. Usually, this kind of torture was used to indicate possession. Large businesses frequently branded their slaves to make them instantly recognizable and to deter theft and resale. These brands were eventually utilized as physical evidence to disprove statements made by larger firms that the practice had never taken place. A code noir in Louisiana authorized branding slaves as a kind of emancipation punishment. By 1840, New Orleans had grown to become the nation's largest slave market, subjecting countless people to this law. Escape attempts were frequently punished by branding, especially in the South. On the slave's face, letters or other distinguishing marks were frequently burned. This frequently precluded them from being given any housework or service assignments. 4. Smoking alive. Eventually, regulations governing the upkeep, welfare, and rights of slaves were enacted by several slave states. This should have provided some protection from abuse and brutality to slaves, in theory. These laws were hardly ever actually put into action. According to certain sources, Various forms of abuse and punishment proliferated in many states. Fugitive slave William W. Brown talked about a widespread Virginian ritual. He spoke about a master who tied and beat his slaves in the smokehouse. Then, as additional punishment, he built a fire out of tobacco stems to suffocate and smoke the slaves. 5. The Hogshead. The most horrifying descriptions of slave abuse and torture may come from former slaves. Moses Roper was born to an African and Native American mother who was a slave to his English father. Moses authored a book on his life after he was freed from servitude. He detailed all of the cruelties and tortures that slaves in America had to endure. Moses described the enjoyment and amusement that some owners had in using physical punishment. He gave an example of a slave owner who pounded nails into a big barrel and left the nail points sticking out. While the owner and other slaves watched, his slaves were packed into large barrels and rolled down lengthy, steep hills. 6. Suspension over cooking fire. A slave escapee, Harriet Jacobs chronicled her journey in writing. She recalled becoming the property of a slave owner who routinely harassed her sexually despite his wife's complaints. Harriet spent seven years hiding in her grandmother's ceiling crawl space to avoid him before escaping to England. Harriet described a nearby slaveholder in another terrifying story. He owned a large number of slaves. His preferred method of executing a slave was to bind him, lift him over the ground, and light a fire above him. The fire was used to roast a fatty piece of pork. Then the burning fat began to flow onto the slave's exposed skin. 7. Public burnings. Penalties were frequently made public. As a reminder that they should behave or face the same punishment, other slaves were made to watch. At times, neighbors or business owners traveled nearby to watch for entertainment. Despite the abolition of slavery, Public hangings and lynchings persisted throughout the 20th century. Public burning was one horrifying form of punishment. Either above a fire or to a stake, slaves were bound.
before the fire consumed their bodies, some slaves fell out from smoke inhalation or fainted. But before they passed away, many were tormented by the flames. 8. Long-Term Chaining The history of slavery has plenty of evidence of the use of chains. Captured Africans were held captive aboard slave ships, where they were bound together inside the hulls of the boats. Repeat fugitive slaves were frequently sentenced to lengthy chains. To their workstations or to other slaves, they were shackled. In certain instances, slaves were chained up in lengthy lines to work together on menial jobs. The chain gangs that became notorious in U.S. jails had their beginnings here. Madame Delphine Lalaurie was one person who, even by 19th century standards, became infamous for her abuse of slaves. Before her house caught fire in 1834, a number of inquiries were made to ascertain the state of her slaves. The fire was allegedly caused by an elderly female slave who worked as a cook in an effort to commit suicide. The cooking fire had tethered her to the stove. The Lalaurie attic was later where several slaves were found living in appalling conditions. They were standing with their limbs stretched and torn by chains, suspended by their necks. 9. Forced Reproduction Serious sexual assaults and harassment, including rape, were often inflicted upon slaves. No laws existed to stop this. Rarely did these women who became pregnant as a result of the abuse receive any particular care or medical attention. On the contrary, the spouses of their lords frequently treated them harsher. Male slaves were effectively pimped out by their owners in addition to being mistreated and made to have sex with a variety of women. A lack of slaves developed in the South after the U.S. Act prohibiting import of slaves, which went into force in 1808. Black individuals became more in demand as a result of the booming domestic slave market. As a result, slaves were frequently purchased and sold depending on their capacity for childbearing. In order to have more children, they were made to have sex with other slaves. Slaves typically had a choice in who they would have children with. However, there are accounts of matchmaking that were based on physical traits. 10. Demotion or Sale Even while this form of punishment might appear less severe than the earlier horrors described here, it could make the difference between a slave's life and death. George Washington openly supported flogging and other forms of physical abuse against slaves. But he also advocated selling runaways who had fled before and demoting slaves who did not put forth enough effort. Many slaves who performed less strenuous physical labor, like as housework or a specialized profession, may be transferred to the fields. As a result, owners and overseers frequently treated the workers more violently and created harsher physical circumstances. In the worst circumstances, slaves were sold for low prices to masters who had a reputation for mistreating their employees or even forcing them to work themselves to death. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to this channel. Remember to hit the bell button for easy notifications.